Hey faves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sadie and we're about to we're about to get stuck into some makeup. I'm ready. It's the first makeup video of the year and I'm not mad at it. I'm literally helpless as I'm waiting for my nails or whatever I have left of them to dry. Misguided have released beauty. We all know it was gonna come eventually, and I'm really enjoying the aesthetics of the packaging. Like it's like all pink, silver, everything. It just looks very misguided as the price range, it's like a, a mid-range drugstore product so i want to see what it's about is it actually worth spending your money on because to be honest if you're ordering from misguided and you just want to shove like an eyeliner in your order why not but is it going to be worth it you can't test it so i thought i'd make a video so you guys can actually see what it looks like on the skin and yeah i'm quite excited to be honest once these nails dry it's over for you it's over <laughs> if you like my makeup videos please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe i'm trying to get to 30 30k yeah, try and get to 30k in the next few months, that would be amazing. So yeah, hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think about all these products. Will you be getting anything from Misguided? I need to get some makeup on this ratty face, so let's go. Starting with the Demi Matte Foundation. I'm really enjoying this little tube packaging. It has the Misguided font, everything you need. This is £12, which isn't particularly cheap. Like I would say that's sort of L'Oreal L'Oreal prices, so I am expecting a lot. Demi Matte does sound good. I got shade 6, I'm not gonna lie, I did fake tan last night because I just wanted to feel alive. I looked sick. I literally looked like a sick Victor- I looked like a sick Victorian child and I was like, I'm just not about this life. I have a lot of spots too, if you haven't already noticed all these things residing on my face. Rent free, may I fucking add. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this covers, but so far it feels very like a lightweight sort of- It feels nice on the skin. Oh, I didn't realise how bad my tan was. <laughs> crusty why are your hands so hard to tan do you know what someone should actually bring out like a, a hand tan you know we've got like face tans that make it easy to do face someone should bring out like sort of like a i don't know like an overnight glove you can wear i don't know there's no easy way to do it it looks really nice actually it's like a nice everyday foundation one if you don't want it like you're making too much effort it's not a glam go into the club foundation it's more like you know, going to work, little something something. I'm sure we can build it up. I am gonna build it up just because I feel like my spots are, they are covered, but not fully to the extent I want them to. And I only got a brightening concealer. So I'm gonna add a few layers, see how it looks. I'm gonna go as far as to say that is the happiest I've been with a first impression foundation. I don't know if you've watched my other makeup videos, but I'm always iffy with them. But that, I don't know why I'm surprised. I just guess because they're not a makeup brand. I didn't really know what to expect, but buffs in so nice it feels really good on the skin and i actually think that's a nice coverage okay. next we have the meet your match misguided concealer also in a little tube it's quite easy to carry it around i did get a really light shade because i wanted this for brightening but i feel like i might have got too light they have good shades they have dark shades and light shades we commend them for their shades it's this is eight pounds so again not like super cheap but affordable so i'm only gonna do whoa that is light so it's very creamy. I'm only gonna do a little bit of highlighting because I don't want it to make my face look too pale. God, it is bloody light. This is the lightest shade, so I probably shouldn't have, I don't know why. Bringing it back to 2015 when we used to put white triangles under our eyes. Oh, the good old days. I think the color's throwing me off, but it is like brightening. It doesn't seem to have loads of coverage. Like it's quite lightweight, which I, I don't mind too much. Especially when I'm using it for brightening rather than covering stuff. Just popping it on the eyes as I do not have a primer. But I just read on the back that it's got SPF in, which I'm impressed with. As well as aloe vera for moisturising. I do feel like it has got like, like a nice fresh hydrated look. Like we don't need to be always full coverage, you know, Sadie? So I'm not, I'm not saying I hate it. I'm just saying this might not be my usual concealer. I would use it though. Next, we're gonna go onto the mattifying powder. Although I do feel for someone with oily skin, this has actually matted me down quite well. I don't know if I would necessarily need powder, but this is the mattifying matric powder. It is ten pounds. This packaging, out, like out all of the packaging, I really enjoy. I'm not sure about this. It kind of looks a bit, dare I say, like cheap. Like it, you can see the sticker stuck on, but I don't know. I'm not gonna judge it too much on that. Oh, it says it's got illuminating rose quartz. I dig that. I like something that's mattifying, but it's got a little bit of a glow. Oh, you get a mirror. Stunning. I'm just going to tap that over any areas I get oily. Oh, I do feel like it's setting that down nicely. One thing I do like is they have the misguided logo in there. That's nice to have that press. It's like an extra little touch. Hmm. 
Oh, do you know what? This will definitely be one that I have in my bag all the time. Just easy to grab and like mat myself down. Pretty. Do you know what? I think I've got a cream contour and I've just mat I've just put powder on. <laughs> Love that for me. The reason at all, I thought I'd just be jazzy and try their contour stick. Usually I'm a powder contour girl, but why not branch out? Right, there were so many colours of this, which again is great, but it was really hard to know what one to get. I went for the M7, and this is £9. It looks like a very warm... Oh, no, I reckon that would be a good colour. I'm going to start softly and build it. Bro, do you want to blend? <gasps> why is it blending? Am I being stupid? Come on. Oh... I think I put, oh, oh, I can still see. I don't know what I've done wrong. It doesn't seem to be blending. It sticks a bit hard, I'm gonna, it's not even on. <laughs> don't try this at home. I need to warm it up quickly. I don't even know if that did anything, but the stick just feels a bit hard. I'm gonna try with a brush on it instead and see. What am I doing? I just like forgot how to do makeup this year. Joking, I never knew how to do makeup. It's just not, it's not very creamy. Oh, that's doing something. Should we try on the nose for a bit of fun? Ooh, works on the nose. I feel like dabbing a brush onto something and like painting it on is sometimes more natural and subtle. Yeah, it's a hard stick. It's a bit hard, that's what she said. Honestly, I've been watching so much of The Office now, it's on Netflix, and they always say that's what she said. It's so such a stupid joke, but it's so effective. Okay. It's, like, not creamy, but it's... It's buildable, you know? I'm getting a bit more confident with it. Okay, we've made it work, we've made it work. I got a bit confident with it. It does say cream to powder, which I think, although it takes a little bit longer to blend, it's gonna stay. The colour-wise, M7, it really is doing the most. It's giving me the subtle, pretty bronze, not like in your face block contour, which is fine. We can work with it. Now I'm really excited to try this next product. It's the Oh Hey Brow and this packaging. I love this paints flower effect. This is gorge. I got the dark and it is eight pounds skinny pencils oh if it has a spoolie this guy didn't know they no, the spoolie makes it a hundred percent always need to brush those brows through we've got the skinny oh, that is actually sexual a brand new skinny pencil give it to me let's try and see and show you what it looks like just want to look like little hairs oh my god it's so creamy oh my god i'm in love already i can just tell that is handy like you could just order yourself a little brow pencil while you're shopping for like loungewear is this color good guys it's hard when my hair's dark oh it literally looks like hair strokes that is beautiful favorite product so far i'm gonna use this all the time i want to see how it wears though like it's even softer than the benefit ones i'm gonna say that is nice quality product that I'm, I'm impressed. I'm going to say it if no one else is. Brows on fleek. Haven't used that say in a long time, but damn. If you only get one thing from this video, get the brow product because what a beautiful. And that was no effort. That took, that's the quickest I've ever done my brows. Okay, blush now. Tell me why I got the brightest pink. I don't know what was going through my head. That's the thing. You know, sometimes you can't really see the shades. But this one is called the High Pigment Matte Blush. And I got the shade um, Hot Minute. Hot Minute. I like the stop I'm blushing. I like the little cute quotes on the front. It's a bit, you know, sassy, like misguided it is. Can we also talk about how I watched, whoa, Bridgerton with my mum? yeah mm -hmm. so i heard everyone talking about the sex scenes and i said to her oh there might be sex scenes and i get a bit awkward like that like i know i shouldn't be but i do she was like it'll be fine and there was none until like episode seven sorry if there's any spoilers if you have watched bridgerton just just just, just skip and i was like damn whoa like i didn't need to see that with my mother like i did not but i was hooked he's just a beautiful man a beautiful fine specimen of a human male but can you imagine being back in those times and having to like marry you have to marry the first person you kiss like and they don't even like i know sex education is not up to standard in this country but they didn't even know where babies come from like what is, that's crazy imagine i wonder where the guy that i first kissed i wonder what he's doing now hope he's doing well hon he's definitely not watching this but i hope you're not in prison why have i i don't know why i've gone clown i don't honestly it's very pigmented it, it is a high pigment and it is it's a good blush but i don't know why i thought this was appropriate this color why did i think i needed this color 
does it look okay maybe it will go down but i've popped a bit on the nose maybe it'll go down i'm just gonna move on maybe someone with a darker skin tone i'm very pale so this probably comes out so dark but i imagine someone with black skin would look incredible with this like darker blusher so it's good that they have colors that cater to all different skin types but me i usually prefer a lighter pink or a coral i don't know i guess i don't have any colors like that so why the f not this is the high lit highlighter high lit like lit get lit okay that's just embarrassing in the shade prinks it looked like the lightest one they also have powders but i thought i have loads of powders oh i like it's got a little wand it's just a dippity dab oh i thought it feels like not oily but it feels some of them feel like i don't know what i'm trying to say basically it feels nice <laughs> it feels moisturizing why am my vocabulary like stop functioning oh that is a really really beautiful shade prinks also miss prinks i've come to realization that i'm gonna be in lockdown for my birthday and i know where is me like everyone's been in lockdown for their birthday but it's my 25th and i just feel like what am i gonna do a little bit on the cupid's bow on the nose Oh, that's a really... Oh, I'm going to use this every single day. That is stunning. That it really is a gorgeous highlighter. Moving on to eyes. I've got this little paint pot. Lids, lids, lids. Lids. And it's a cream eyeshadow. I don't usually mess with cream eyeshadows, but this is cute. What shade is this? It's lit. They love the words, it's lit. It's like an orangey, burnt orange shade. They have other ones as well. They don't actually have a lot of eyeshadows, so... I don't know. Maybe they're planning on coming out of a palette. I kind of, I kind of respect that. I hate when brands just like push out all these really weird palettes start with your basics and i feel like they have done really well with the base products then you can like add in the fun products later but just using this flat brush oh it's actually quite subtle which is nice i feel like orange is really pretty for blue eyes so i'm enjoying this color it feels creamy but not too creamy that it's wet i'm gonna actually bring it all the way up into the crease i really have to like dig in the pot to get pigment out but i've sort of dragged it up to create some shape and i'm just putting it underneath too it's nice it's not wowing me i don't personally really like cream eyeshadow i just feel like i'd rather use powders but i get, get if you're not really into like a lot of makeup you could literally just dip your finger and put this over and you'll be good to go but maybe i'm being too harsh it does look pretty i'm just not blown away i would i wouldn't really buy it but i will find purpose for it and if it's your thing it's perfectly it's perfectly fine i'm just I don't know, being a bitch because I feel like it. Next is the Slick Flick and I haven't actually got a nude liner. So I was very excited to find they had this sort of really pretty base colour. Sometimes it ends up being nicer than white. So I'm just going to, like so, looks very creamy. I'm just going to add that into my waterline. And hopefully this will really open up the eyes. Ooh, it does glide on straight away. I've got really small eyes so I feel like I need this. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's a good eye product. You're seeing this, but it literally is so creamy. Sorry if you're freaked out by eyes, but it's so creamy. It glides on. I've looked too much on this eye, and now it looks like I've got conjunctivitis, but <laughs> we're just going to ignore that. I, I really like that pen. Just don't put it on the top one, because it looks like I've got something wrong with me now. <laughs> let's go to the mascara and they had two they had a thickening one and a definition one i've been using a thick one for too long so i thought i'd go back to my roots go back to the classic thin one it's called oh high lash and it's a high definition mascara and this side already damn it's good especially because it's like it's like a pointed it goes thicker and in so you still get nice thickness but also it's mainly the length and like little definition i feel like it has got the potential to go a bit spidery so i'm just gonna leave it there i don't want to build it up too much as it was starting to clump ain't gonna lie to you but i'll show you this side on camera so it really like combs each lash like look i've barely done any and the results already like it is a really nice look and i feel like it builds up quite easily but yeah because it is such a wet it's a very wet mascara just a weird ass pussy Oh, it's a very nice bottom lash mascara because it is so defined. I hate using thick ones on the bottom lash. You know what I mean? Looks really good. I really like it. It's actually better than the high-end one I'm using at the moment. I ain't gonna say who, but it is. The more I have this makeup on, the more I'm absolutely in love with it. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna move on to lips, my favourite part always. I'm always on the hunt for new lip liners. Again, the packaging is beaut. So this is the shade Bougie, obviously me. It looks like a pinky brown nude, which is delicious. So let's just get it on. I'm imagining this to be like the, I don't know, so super creamy, hopefully. 
Mm -hmm. That goes on really nice. This colour with the orange eyes really is a lot. It's good. So creamy. It's so beaut. You could wear that as a lipstick because it's that nice. That is gorge. That is exactly a colour I would wear all the time. <gasps> bougie you need to get it now get it i've got a lipstick as well i'm not too sure on this packaging it's called gimme lip matte shade drunk text we love a drunk text honestly if if you don't get a drunk text they don't like you especially guys it feels a bit rickety like the thing is gonna fall no it's all good it's all secure i like the lipstick tube it has the misguided thing on the top and it's like a nice point i'm just not too sure about this clear packaging i don't know if it looks a bit like I don't want to be rude, but it looks a bit like something you would get in, like, Girl Talk magazine when you're five. But we're, we're not going to judge it too harshly on that. Oh, it's matte. Very matte. Oh. Did I just find a really good combo? Like, these go together so well. It's a bit... I don't know. It's a bit weird. I've never felt this formula before. It's still creamy. But I feel like I just preferred my lips without this colour on. Maybe I'm being weird, but I got a, um, this is drunk text. I did get a gloss as well, so maybe that will pick it up. I'm excited to try this. So this is the no filler, hashtag no filler, like no, hashtag no filter. <laughs> Little pun, play on words, we'd love to see it. This is a lip plumping pen, so... I'm always here for the lip plump, as you know. Got like a little clicker. I haven't used a lip plumping gloss in years. Come on. Come on, where are you? Okay, it really doesn't want to come out. Have I got to twist it or? Gotta be honest, I don't know if I've got a faulty one because I've literally clicked it a million times and nothing is coming out. Hello? Like, that's really annoying me and I can't even open it to like get the product out. I really want to try. 85 years later, like a drip of lip gloss has come out. So thank God for that because I was about to, I was about to throw hands. <laughs> right. still not enough like i want to put a good slick on it's like a clear color fine what i expected because the only thing with these this is why i wanted to spray it on my hand is like look like i've covered the top in lipstick now and that's not ideal all right this product's annoying me it's just a clear lip gloss at this point i'm not feeling a burn does it even look nice yeah it looks quite nice to be fair looks like hydrating moisturizing but i wanted to feel the like so we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next few minutes, whether I look like Kylie Jenner or not. Fine, I'll admit, the gloss is growing on me. I was just salty because it wasn't coming out. <gasps> I look nice. I look good. This makeup is... Oh, Miss Kylie. I've got one more thing to show you and then we're fully done. I'll give you my final review. I hope you're still here watching. I hope you're enjoying. I have this very elusive, beautiful freckle pen. Okay, we could either make it or we could completely ruin the look right now. It's just a universal shade. I just thought this was fun. I've never had a freckle pen before, so why not? It's like a felt tip. Don't just burp. Let's just go ham. Let's go. So with freckles, you want to like do any beauty marks you already have i might just do it on my spots as well to make it look oh god covering all my spots oh dear okay i'm just gonna go ham let's just go oh it's quite like they come out quite th oh my god they come out quite thick i don't feel like i'm equipped to do this with freckles you want them to be all different sizes as well and like really across your face, bit on the head. Am I okay? Have I lost my, have I, uh, I think I, <laughs> I just ruined it, I swear. Am I okay? This is not makeup. Okay, I'm gonna just use a beauty blender and dab it in. I did not just do that to my beautiful face. I did not just do that when I just done all that makeup. Also, this gloss is really starting to stink now. <laughs> Let's just blend it, it'll be fine. I'm gonna manifest that this makeup will still look fine because I have no idea why I just did that. Just frantically trying to blend them off because I feel like that ruined the makeup. I feel like for another day maybe, I don't know. Or maybe when I learn actually how to do them because that, it's kind of coming out a bit better. That was a bit harsh, wasn't it? I'm definitely not a pro MUA by any means. What do you think of fake freckles? I feel like they work better in the summer when like you have less makeup on and it looks more natural for you to actually have freckles because that's when they come out more in the summer, right? Am I right? Um, do I just cover it with foundation or is this okay? 
Moving on from the freckle fiasco, this is the finished look. Please let me know what you think. I'm really, really fucking impressed. I like that a lot. I just, I don't know, I feel really pretty. I feel like this is really nice, fresh, beautiful makeup. Worth the price. And yeah, I mean, there's some things I would give or take. Like, I do like the eyeshadow. This colour is really pretty, but I'm not like, wow. You know what I mean? That brow pen, get that in your life. The foundation, get that in your life. The plumping lip gloss maybe get in your life mascara as well get that in your life but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video um let me know what you think of mascara beauty are you going to be treating yourself to any bits have a lovely week and hopefully i will see you very very soon